when we talk about monthly accounting work, there's generally four tiers. And, you know, the first one is really what I would call, you know, sub accounts or detailed transaction management, you know, accounts receivable, accounts payable, inventory, fixed assets, things like that. And so these are sub account management activities where we're not just doing the month end accounting or the bookkeeping and the reporting. We're actually managing the detailed transactions day in, day out or on a weekly basis. And month end accounting and bookkeeping is what most people, you know, that aren't moving into higher value services that are just doing the basic engagement, basic monthly services, which generally include, include, you know, preparing the balance sheet, the profit and loss statement, the income statement, and doing reconciliations. And sometimes not even doing that many reconciliations. It really depends on what kind of staff they have and what type of uh, spot the business is in. Outsource controller, it's the same as the above. You might be doing, you know, month-end accounting and bookkeeping. You might be doing some sub-account management, but due to the structure of the business, there's some kind of a complexity. There's just some reason that this business has a complicated accounting function that really requires more of a controller level person than someone that's doing accounting. And then outsource CFO. So rather than just accounting complexity or instead of accounting complexity this is really some kind of value creation that we're working on really with an outsource of engagement there really it, there's a specific set of goals to increase sales increase margins reduce expenses and just to increase the overall value of the business to the owners whether that means making more net profit or whether that means just increasing the overall value of the enterprise 